Bye, folks. If you're wondering what this is, I thought I'd do a few little trials this year. I think everyone's probably heard of square foot gardening, where you grow things in a, in a grid of, of a foot. But I always think that's a bit silly because you can never really get enough in a, in a square foot. So I'm going to try some square metre gardening this year. I'm going to plant stuff a lot closer than normal, certain things like onions, I think I'll try some peas, some French beans and things, and just basically see what, what volume you get per square metre, as opposed to growing it a lot more spaced out as you would when you've got a lot more room. So what I'm going to try this first test is, I don't know whether I've got enough onions actually to do this, I'm going to, I've got a load of spare onion sets left, so I'm going to plant these out, see how many I get in this uh, one square metre square here. So I'm going to plant them out six inches apart in the row, which is twice as close, which is, yeah, twice as close as, as I would plant them in the main bed. So I do them a foot apart and I'm going to plant them three inches apart between the onions and I would do those six inches apart normally. So if it's twice as close together, then it's four times as densely planted as normal. So perhaps I might get little tiny onions and it's going to be worthless, but we'll just see anyway. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm just going to plant these three inches apart. So we'll start there, work backwards. Yeah, so I'm going to try some, uh, some peas, little dwarf peas in the same area, see what we get. Uh, some French beans, what else, do some lettuce and things, but I, I actually plant my lettuces pretty close like that anyway, so it'd just be interesting just to see what difference it makes really. I mean these do look ridiculously close, I must admit, 21 counting backwards, but like I said we'll just see what happens and see how we get on. Yeah, these are the heat treated onions, so we've got plenty spare. I've planted 120 in the main bed, six rows of 20. So, let's see how many we've got in this row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 rows, so we should get 84 in. So that's 84 in a square meat, 84 onions, which is a heck of a lot of onions, isn't it? So, Keep going. In fact, I'm probably just, I don't, no need to do that. I'll just match them where they are in the bed. It's not rocket science. So, yeah, I've seen the square foot gardening thing. It's great if you've got absolutely no space whatsoever just to grow things in the, the foot square. But if you put a, foot, a square foot of peas in, you're only going to get about six plants. So, I thought a square meter, it's, it's what a lot of people sort of have as a, as a raised bed sort of size. So it was something that they could compare to, you know, just sort of have an idea what to expect yield wise. Absolutely cracking day today, 20 degrees in England in March. Absolutely unheard of. So we'll just put a few of these little red ones out. I've got three different varieties. I think later today, it's come to that time, nearly into April, I'm going to start planting some uh, some lettuces and things like that today. After I've done this. So we should be up and running, planting out sort of late April time with the main with the main veg. Yeah, these do look ridiculously close, but to be honest, I don't mind if I do get smaller onions, because the onions are getting me in my main bed. I always find them too big. So I wouldn't mind getting some smaller ones. So they're obviously going to get a little bit smaller like this, because they'll be fighting for nutrients and stuff. But you never know, they might be as big as ever. I'll try this other variety here. I don't know what sort they are. Doesn't really matter. I think there's an earlier variety a sort of main crop variety and a red variety. But if it does work then it'll just go to show you that you don't need an, you know, a huge plot to grow onions. And you'd be quite happy getting or, you know, like onions sort of that big. And this is probably the way to go. 
But like I said, unless you try it, you know, no. So that's why I'm doing it. So we'll just keep shoving these in. I'll try and find something to waffle about. So what's that? Half down now, so halfway there. What else have we got? Am I going to do it or am I going to run out, which would make, which would make the try look a bit silly? I think we might just have enough. So what did I say? 8 by 12. 7 by 12, that's 84. A lot of onions for a square yard. Probably gone a bit cockeyed as well, not measuring it out. Probably be a bit of bit, it was looking a bit uh, on the squint, as they say. But it's not that uh, technical. Right. We'll see if we can get them out. Let's have a look. I don't think I've got enough red ones to do a row. That's a bit soggy. That's a bit soggy. Sprouted. Let's have a look. I think might just make it three. No, I've only got two rows to go, so that should be all right. Oh, that's gone a bit offline. I'll just try and straighten it up with this one. So we're nearly there. That's all the red ones in. Got a few more of these. So, uh, where are we at now? There are we. So we've got about another ten to do. Where have we got? Oh, I'm losing it here. <laughs> Try and pick the best ones, the ones that aren't sprouted. Just about going to do it, folks. So that row's really gone off offline there. Let's have a look. A few more sprouts. A few more little tiddly ones. Put a little tiny one in there. Have we got any more? Just about going to do it. Two more to do, and then we're done. I'll have to put these in that have sprouted, but it doesn't matter. So there we have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, eleven. Seven, eleven, seventy-seven onions in a square metre. So we'll see how we get on. Like I said, it does look a bit close. And if I show you from above, you'll see that. Have a look from above. Yeah, so I probably will get some smaller onions, but who cares? We'll see how we get on. So that's about it, folks. Just a little little trial for this uh, this year. I'm gonna do a few more bits because I've got all this spare room and I'm not gonna use it for anything. I'd rather grow something even if it's small than just to leave it bare. So that's it, folks. First of the little trials for the square meter gardening. See you later.